Hello everyone, today we are going to work on the AI aspects of the smoke grenade. So when I throw a smoke grenade, uh, the vision of the air character, so that's why they don't shoot that me. But once the smoke is fading out, they will see. Now they are shooting. So this is what I am going to work on today. Let me show the demonstration again. start seeing me and they shoot at me okay so let's see how they do this today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for your support okay so at the moment once i throw a small print here these guys look at me I need to prevent that first and then uh, I need to block their vision from the smoke with the smoke so first in order to prevent them looking at me right after the explosion we can do something um, here if I go to this explode and and explosive component, I have this noise range. So I do make a noise using this range. So for the, the small grenade, I'll reduce this. noise range to something like 20 so that once i throw it they wouldn't see that let's check unless i throw it very close they still saw me So actually, uh, this is the reason. Here, if I check the max range, max range at which the sound may be heard, a value of zero, a value of zero indicates no max range. So perception may have its own range. So loudness scales the range. So even if I make this range here one it it is heard by these NPC characters um i'm not really sure let's draw it into a very far away position Right, actually the problem is this. So yeah, even if I define 
a small value for the make noise here the noise range as as i have defined it's one but this small grenade is a child of bp grenade and bp grenade is a child of thrower and this thrower has this uh, make noise function with a noise range zero so if i call this event with the noise range zero it will be definitely heard by any other phone who uh, any other phone who has ai perception hearing and its hearing range and this object lies within the hearing range of the uh, AI perception component of that character. So that means here this is AI LSA controller and this is uh, AI perception hearing component and here hearing range is 30,000. So if the object is within that 30,000 30, range it will be heard. So to prevent that what I have to do is defining a range that is uh, uh, the for the noise of this uh, hit sound when I throw the object so maybe we can do something like 50 for this um, but this is throwable so we use this for rocks yeah so instead of putting it as 50 it may be a good idea to define a parameter so um hit noise range so let's set something like 500 for that and then that amount now if i throw the grenade oh wait if I throw the grenade somewhere, uh, I just can't guess it. That's what happened. Okay, so now um, that's fine. So, but still, we should get some noise that allows uh, enemies to hear the smoke grenade sound and then they look at the smoke so how oh, yeah maybe uh, let's Divide this by two. And in the middle, let's make a noise. Make noise. And then weigh the rest. The data. So here, noise location should be uh grenade location that's range so maybe let's try a range thousand
Right. Now. They are shooting at me because they can see me, regardless of the smoke. Okay. Uh, now. Oh. Hold on a second. Instead of doing it this way, let's do it this way. Let's have a mandatory three second delay. Now here uh, to block the view so uh, here let's add a collider a sphere collider to the small grenade and I'll set the scale 10. Okay, this scale should be good enough. And here I'll set on the collision settings. I'll make it custom, ignore all, and block visibility channel right now by default no let's test first Oh, this is too small. Maybe twenty. Now, if I make a sound, they don't see me, but they are coming towards me. They don't see me because because of the because of this sphere is blocking the V. But initially, it should not be blocking the view. Initially, there should not be. Uh, initi as initially, there is no smoke. So, mm -hmm. in the beginning, I'll set. Collision enabled to no collision, and I'll enable the collision back. And the first uh, here when the smoke is from a bit. Collision enabled. Should that be Korean? Let's see. Now remove that grenade and let's throw a grenade. This saw me because they started petrol. Wait, why are they patrolling? Can I disable patrol? This should not be that way. Right? And it's true. And that means it should be not 
they don't seem to make a pixel also this small so now they seem oh they still don't see you because still there are ways uh, that collider so let's Oh, we are never, we never destroy this object. So here, let's get this here. Set collision enabled back to more collision. And let's set lifespan of this object to maybe five seconds. Is very great. So that's exactly what I want to do. So let me test it again. This time, I'm going to stop this episode right here. And thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon. See you in another episode. Goodbye.